Hey guys, <clears throat> day 14, the left shoe riding in public. It's February 26th, 2024. Had a big uh, sort of personal milestone today. Uh, I joined a yoga studio exactly one year ago today. It was my first class and I passed, I think I got to about 389. I say about 389 classes in one calendar year or one one year past um actually it was 392 i keep a record but the little app said 389 so that's what it is but anyways felt good about that part of my daily habit building which brings me to this it is almost bedtime and i'm starting to get death by allergies but i'm trying to hang in there I've noticed I've had about three, four views on these videos. So whoever you are, thanks for watching. I have no idea because I haven't even told a single person. And I haven't watched the last few, so those views are not mine. So I thank you. I'm more just doing this to start building the habit. Um, and I need to be more mindful about starting to experiment with content types. And that way I'll start to be able to really figure out what is interesting for you guys. If you are watching this, please don't hesitate to reach out or, or, or let me know that because it's a little embarrassing, to be honest. Speaking of content, uh, just an interesting thought that I had today. Uh, a lot of podcasts I listen to, a lot of books I've been reading. But in terms of community building, I, I have enjoyed this podcast lately called The Future with Chris Doe, I believe. And he essentially runs a creative agency, but now turned education company. And I found his podcast, some of them to be really useful. I don't listen to all of them. It's not one of those situations, but the, the titles that appeal to me, I check out. And there was an interesting one about uh, content for LinkedIn. Now that's kind of boring. Can't say that I'm in love with thinking about content strategies for LinkedIn, but the guest, I believe his name was Richard Moore, had an interesting, I guess, framework that I thought maybe I could apply to this. He mentioned like hub and spoke and what that meant was <coughs> he would plan out content for the month, for example, where you'd have a different theme each week. And then each day of each week, he would have a different type of post. It could be a article, uh, an image, a meme. Uh, I can't remember the others. It was like carousel, something like that. And that's for LinkedIn, and I'm not talking about that, but I think in terms of the, the left shoe, what I'm trying to do, it is probably worth me doubling down on the sort of content mapping that I talked about a few episodes ago, where I believe what I could do is start to list out all of the various topics and considerations that, I, that I've been, that I want to make public on this channel, and then start to bucket them. And then with each within each bucket, I could then break apart different aspects of it and then start to create content around those. So it could be um, that way we could have whether it's like themes of a week or themes of a month or whatever it is. But just something I've been thinking about how I can start to make this content a little more organized because right now it's a little bit stream of consciousness once I get around to doing it. So that's something you can look forward to. Thanks again for watching, even though I have no idea which who, who you three people are, but I appreciate it. I uh, hope to see you back here tomorrow. Have a good one.